Okay, y'all, getting ready to move the cows. You can see they are lined up over here, ready to be moved. I um, wanted to let y'all know, we talked about the Gallagher products because we saw them on VW Family Farm. We decided to try them. They are awesome. We had a, uh, a viewer send us a spool of wire, the turbo wire, and a uh, large geared reel. Oh man, so much better than what we were doing. Uh, we actually have partnered with Gallagher, and uh, so they said they're actually doing a contest right now. So uh, they wanna send you some free fencing stuff. So you can sign up, we'll put the link below in the description of the video and uh you can sign up but it ends april 15th of this year 2020 so you don't have oh i'm sorry may 15th not april may 15th jack is rolling his eyes so uh may 15th of this year but uh, all you do is click the link sign up and uh they're gonna pick someone to send some free fencing stuff to um so we are excited about that um I have to get more details on how to actually uh, get the uh, get a discount. But since we've partnered with them, if you enter, I think it's Flip Flop Barnyard, but I'll have to have Jenna verify that. But uh, we'll put that in the description as well, or she'll put it on the screen. Because I I just do videos. I don't handle all that crazy technical computer stuff. Um, it's it's not my forte. But Jenna is very good at it. So uh, we're gonna move the cows. Come here and check this out. Uh, my posts, hang on, don't show them yet, Jack. I've, I've you know, the, the push-in posts that Gallagher sells, the ring top post, they're awesome. Way better than a standard pigtail post, like you buy at your local hardware store or farm store. So, uh, but there's kind of, they're kind of difficult to carry, especially when you don't have a four-wheeler um, or a side-by-side, uh, -side, you know, like a UTV or something. You got to carry them in your hand. It's kind of a pain. So I was thinking, I'll have Jenna make me a bag to put them in. And she was all about that. She, she said she could do it, just timing and then buying the materials. And then I thought, you know, a golf bag would be perfect, a golf club bag. So I looked on Marketplace, got one for 10 bucks. And so far, it is awesome. You just carry it. You can put however many posts in your hand that you want, but uh, it's like pulling an arrow to shoot. <laughs> but no, it is pretty cool. It works. Um, with my tractor, there's no really good way to just drive along and push them in off the tractor. So we decided to try this. There's, I don't know how many posts in here, probably 50 pounds and uh, way more than you could carry by hand. Keeps them all together, keeps them untangled so far. So we're gonna try it and see how it does. Okay, y'all, so Jack has gone to get our uh, fence spool. It's over on the other side of this property and uh, hanging in a tree, they're insulated. You roll them out, but uh, we're gonna have to cut the wire. I hate cutting my wire, but you know, sometimes, I mean, you have to, it's how it works. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you how nice and easy these posts are to put in. You get this camera turned around here. And uh, I mean, they're so much stronger and sturdier than a standard pigtail post. I mean, this just eat, man, they're so nice. But uh, also, I'm trying to video myself. I don't know how good this is working. But uh, my, I'm looking to see what I'm doing. So I can't reach too far because I'm all sprawled out. But pulling the post out, man, it just works awesome. So for any of you all who are trying to figure out how to more easily carry all of your pigtail posts, I recommend the golf caddy bag club. I don't know. I'm not a golfer. I've never golfed in my life. It's not me. But man, 10 bucks. You can't even buy the materials to build something like this for 10 bucks. So I'm thrilled with it. All right. I am walking back to uh, towards Jack. I would expect him to be on his way. I laid my post bag down right here. We'll pick it up on the way back through with the tractor. It's easier to video without carrying that around. But let's see here. I expect him to be coming along. There's all the cows up there. They are just dying to get over here. <laughs> There's still 
some of them are a little thin it's just gonna take them a while they've got seven month old calves on them I'm not sure when to start weaning I, I keep going back and forth when I want to do that um, most of them well some of them weren't bred so they can have their calves on them a little bit longer but um i might i might start winning calves when i get them back over onto my property we'll see just hmm. it's better for the calves to stay on longer but i like for my cows to gain some weight so we'll see but here comes jack with the gallagher large geared reel it's a three to one ratio one crank of the handle is three revolutions of the uh reel how's it working jack working great pretty sweet isn't it long as you long as you route it correctly yeah. what did you say about the creek trees that's the long oh the trees yeah tree. yeah this geared reel if you move cows often it is it is phenomenal but uh, oh well, i forgot what i was saying you know i forgot to finish my thought earlier about the uh our discount code i'll have jenna put it below but if you use it you'll save 10 percent on your order and uh, Gallagher is working on their website right now so there's a certain way you have to enter the code and uh, I'll have Jenna write that out in the description how to use it but uh, that, like I said they're working on their website and once they get that fixed I think it'll it'll work a whole lot better but um anyway as you can see it works awesome and the turbo wire is thicker and has way more metal stain it's got stainless and uh copper in it which is way more conductive than your standard poly wire so we are just ecstatic about it it works i mean it really really works great i laid the uh the golf bag i don't know what we need to call it we're going to start calling it our post bag not the golf bag so I laid it right here, Jack. So we'll get it on the way back with the tractor. Sir, I saw yeah. it laying there from over there, and I thought, "What is that piece of trash laying in the field?" <laughs> no. And then when I got closer, I realized what it was. It's our post bag. I don't want to get all that close to the creek. Huh? I said I don't want to get all that close to the creek. No, you don't want to fall in. The bank might give way if you get too close. Yeah, especially if you're here, it's really bad. Yep. A little cold for a swim today. A little cold for a swim in that creek probably most days. All right, so just figure eight it. What we do when we get to the end, yep, Jack can hang that on that gate post or that post board, or fence board, I should say. And we just get to the end and he's going to figure eight it like that. And that's it. So there's that and there it is it works great like I say we are thrilled with it and uh, let's go let some cows over Jack all right Jack is going to let these girls over and one boy he's standing right there rusty we love this bull he is awesome Come on, girls. Woo, cows. Woo. We're still working on growing grass here in southwest Virginia. It's uh, the cool weather kind of slowed everything down. Woo. Come on, girls. All it takes is one, and they all realize. Here they come. And, uh, the other thing I was going to say, some of these are thin, but also these cows are, are technically a dairy breed. Um, in the Tarentais Valley in France, they are a dairy cow. So they're not, the cows themselves are not going to bulk up like what people are used to seeing, Angus cows and stuff like that, your standard, like a beef cow. They just don't bulk up like that. There is not in their genetics, but man, they raise some nice bulls and steers. That's, I mean... You know, most people don't want to eat the cows anyway, and it's, certainly we don't. We want to uh, use them for growing our herd, but it is, uh, I love the cows. I mean, they're, I think they're beautiful, they're gentle, they're calm, 
easy to handle they're just phenomenal so but as soon as the weather turns warm here in the next couple weeks i'd say the well, the grass will really launch so we've only got about a day's worth of grazing here i'm thinking it goes all the way down there but this is going to be a day then we'll move them back to our woods look at this calf seven months old and look at him compared to his mama right there i mean he is massive for seven months old they're just they're awesome and then, then you've got this little red guy right here little 14 she's our oldest cow this little red guy right here he is just stout and where's big john jack he's down there he's then went on huh Where's he at? Oh, right here. Here is Big John. This is our bull calf. Why isn't my camera focusing? Something's wrong here. Let's see. Oh, it's on manual focus. There we go. I must have hit a button on the screen. Well, I'll try to find Big John again. He is right there. Doing great. That's a big calf right there, a real stout one. That's Miss Alyssa. Yeah. That's number 36, Miss Alyssa's steer calf. What's this one here? What number is he? I think he's 19. 19? 16. 16, okay. We've got one still intact that we need to still ban that we're not planning on keeping a bull, right? Yeah, that, he's down there. That's number 18. Okay. Well, when we get them all up, uh, little uh, let's see, Rusty and Big John are going to be heading to uh, the guy that owns all the rest of these cows and that owns Rusty. Uh, he's going to keep Big John for us to get him separated from the cows because um, he is very, uh, very much ready to to wanting to breed, but he's too young. He's, we're worried about him injuring himself. So we're uh, gonna take him, let, let Mr. Mike take him back to his place and uh, just keep him there and keep him away from these cows until he grows on out. So, uh, but as you can see, they're happy they're gonna graze and we are gonna wrap this video up. Y'all have a great day.